clothes. Strugglers, it's that time of year again, baby. We're gearing up to go back to school. I always kind of got a little bit of a pit in my stomach when it was time to go back to school, like when we would go and get notebooks and pencils and stuff. It's just like, it, it's marking the end of summer, right? Wow, Scott, groundbreaking commentary. School marks the end of summer? That's crazy, I had no idea. But this year, it's super different for a lot of people because a lot of kids aren't actually going back to school per se. They're doing a lot of their schooling online, which sucks as a student because as much as it's kind of a pain in the butt to get up early and go to school, I can't imagine what it would be like to have to do that all on your computer and be all self-motivated and whatever, that, that, that would not be easy to do. And it's gotta suck for teachers too, because you're trying to, you know, educate these classrooms virtually. Where am I going? Can I get to the point? <laughs> you know who nobody ever acknowledges that this is gonna be a weird year for? The freaking bus drivers, dude. Bus drivers never get any love whatsoever. And I think it's about time that we show some appreciation to the freaking bus drivers. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to look at some school bus like instructional videos, some safety videos, that, that kind of stuff. And I, if that sounds uninteresting to you, just here's a little taste of what's to come. You're out of control. I want okay. your boss's name and number. Let's do it. This first one is called School Bus Behavior. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Hello, Kyrene students. My name is Sandy and I work in the transportation department. Nice bus here. This video. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, my name is Scott. Uh, I am a YouTuber. Nice chair here. Nice bus here. This video is to help you learn what you're supposed to do on the bus and at the bus stops. Our training department put this together and we got the, the help from some students and they had a lot of fun with it and you'll see in just a minute. This first part is what not to do on the bus. So please watch and remember this, you don't do this. Maybe do that take again. <laughs> I freaking love teachers and people that like work at schools, especially when they have to get on camera. Oh my gosh, it's always gold. This is just a sweet lady who works in the transportation department and they thrust her on camera. She's killing it. I love this lady. Make sure you line up and no horseplay as the bus arrives. I'm sorry, what the frick was that kid doing? Ah, frick! I really hope you can see me in the shot because <laughs> I feel like this looks really funny. Do not, and I repeat, please do not cross in front of the bus. It's very dangerous. Unless you're doing it on camera, apparently. Do not, under any circumstances, cross in front of a moving bus. All right, Justin, just sprint in front of the moving bus for us, please. We gotta get this shot. Are they bringing these creatures to school or to a zoo? <laughs> Take your seat in a calm and orderly manner and put your seatbelt on. It's the safest thing for you to do. Wait, since when do buses have seatbelts? Is that a new thing? I never had a seatbelt on any bus that I ever rode. I always used to wonder why they didn't have seatbelts actually. Make sure you treat everyone with respect. Hey, you're in my seat! This is for older kids, get out! Relax, guy! Hey, you little get out of my seat! <laughs> Dude, that kid has been through some stuff. He is clearly going through something. He's fighting some demons. The way he just like sat so defeated in his seat. We've got to find out what's going on with Justin. Maybe ask him how he's doing. And never board the bus without the driver. Make sure the driver's on board before you board. It's not here. Where, where is it? Why though? What are they going to find? What are they gonna find? Bus driver's just in the back seat doing some horrifying shit. <laughs> Scars the kids for life. What are you guys doing on this bus without me? Oh shit. You guys on the bus without me? Dude is driving bus in a very rough neighborhood, obviously. All right, I'm sure you're still laughing. <laughs> I sure am. Gal oh, Sandy. What a wonderful lady. All right, let's check out another one. How about stranger awareness for kids? Hello, kids. Hi. I want you to meet Billy. He is an ordinary kid, just like you. Has there ever really been a kid that goes by Billy? It's like such a cliche, and it's like the Karen for kids. But I've never met a kid named Billy. Obviously, William is like a super popular name, but nobody, does anyone call their kid Billy? Hey, let me know in the comments below. Something seems to be troubling Billy today. I wonder what it is. 
He remembered to help his mom change his little brother's diaper. He remembered to brush his teeth. He remembered to tighten the handcuffs on the hostage in his basement. <laughs> Wait, I forgot my book. Wait! We're supposed to walk together, remember? I'll be right back. All right. Just go with him, right? <laughs> Problem solved? You did it again, Scott. Keeping kids safe since 1996. You're welcome. Hey. Hey, Billy. Hey, what are you doing? How do you know my name? I work with your dad down at the shop. Billy was thinking to himself that he has never seen this person before. He hasn't seen him at his house or at his dad's shop where the stranger said he worked. So the, how does he know Billy's name? Who is this man? He's really busy. He's got kind of backed up. So he asked me to come down and pick you up, okay, buddy? What do you think Billy should do? Should he get in the man's car? It would be wrong not to listen to an adult, right? Is this man considered a stranger? These are the questions that are running through Billy's head right now. Me too. Me too, man. They are hard questions to answer, but we're going to help Billy answer them. Okay, thank God. The man in the car tells Billy that he works with his dad and that his dad asked him to give him a ride to school. So he asked me to come down and pick you up, okay, buddy? Let's see if Billy makes the right choice. No. Look, look, I'll, you just, just get in the car. I'll go and I'll take you to your dad's shop, okay? He's busy right now, all right? Just get, look. Come on, hurry up, get in. I, I gotta get no. going. No. <laughs> Billy, savage! Come on, hurry up, get in. I, I gotta get No! Billy hurries to his bus stop and loads the bus. He made the right choice. But let's see if he made any mistakes along the way. What's going on, Billy? I don't trust this man either now. With a face like that, you can't blame me, okay? This guy wanted to give me a ride. Did you know him? Not at all. What did he look like? What What was he wearing? I think he was wearing a blue shirt. Do you remember what his car looked like? What color well, was it? It was... Blue. It was a blue sedan. I really think it was black. The Billy, you f it up. We're never going to catch him now. He's going to be on the loose. Billy alerted his bus driver about the stranger right away. One thing is for sure, and that is that Billy has a great memory. He remembered the color of the car. Oh, <laughs> well, egg on my face, I guess. I could have swore the car was blue. Maybe it was just the lighting. I'm just going to, I'm going to tell myself it was the lighting, okay? I would have put that man behind bars, all right? I would have done, I would have put him behind bars. He wouldn't have gotten away. It wouldn't have been my fault, okay? It wouldn't have been my fault. I don't really know what that had to do with Bus safety, really? Um, I guess he talked to a bus driver. Let's just, let's look at another one. This one is simply titled School Bus Safety, so I'm sure we're gonna be back on track here. Did you see that fire the other day? Uh, Excuse me, Matthew C. Bailey. You were supposed to remain seated at all times. She says while standing up. Back to back, bottom to bottom. Oh yeah, feet to the ground. Now why did they go and make the girl explaining all of the bus rules? The least likable person on earth. I get that it's like, oh yeah, nerds, nerds follow rules, but it's like, yeah, nerds follow rules. Maybe have a cool kid giving the giving the rules speech. I, I can't even believe that. Excuse me. <clears throat> You're not supposed to have any gum, food, candy, or a drink. No exceptions. That includes alcohol and tobacco. Yeah, I think that was probably expected. Um, excuse me, you're not allowed to have anything to drink on this bus, okay? Not water, not even booze. Damn it! What are you doing? Why are you stopping on the railroad? What are you doing? We are stopping the railroad tracks. Evacuate the bus immediately. Oh god. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. All right, okay, don't panic. Don't panic. We're stuck on the tracks. Don't freak out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's okay, guys, but we have to get a hundred feet away right now. Run, right. everyone. Still on the bus. I'm still on the bus. Help me, oh, God, help. help. We made it to safety this time, but had the train been any closer, we might not have made it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm fine then. Well, these have all just kind of been like the way that kids are meant to behave on the bus. I kind of want to look at what it's like for a bus driver. So let's dip into that territory. Um, there's this one called Dealing and Communicating with Parents. And it's just a little preview. They're selling these. He, listen to this. If you thought the price of the anti-bullying videos at $50 a pop was expensive, how about $225 each for these bus driver training videos? 
That's an inappropriate behavior. You need to move up to seat one right now. Robert, how many citations does this make now? Two. Two? No, this is your third citation. You know what that means? Now you lose bus privileges. Okay, you can't be acting like a bully. You need to keep your hands to yourself. God, Karen's coming in full force. This is ridiculous. I'm getting a phone call from my son on the bus because you're harassing him again. I've had it. This is 2014. This was before all the Karen stuff even. She's a walking cliche. Way ahead of her time. Way ahead of her time. Yeah, like I said, this is dealing and communicating with parents, but there was another one that I really wish I really wish was available. Sexual harassment on the school bus, identifying and taking action. Now I don't wanna say that that in and of itself is funny. Sexual harassment isn't funny, obviously, but just the still shot. <laughs> Look at this young man's face. That is a predator. That is a predator in the making. And what did he say? Send me a sexy pic? Come on guy, chill. I could purchase it for $225. I could do that. But as a matter of fact, I actually couldn't because you have to identify that you're part of a school district to even like access these videos. So whatever. So instead we will watch how to control extreme behavior on the school bus. Well, good gravy right off the bat. Freaking heck my guy, just smoking a cig back in seat 24. Holy crap. <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to happen. Yeah, look at this kid. He's like, can you believe that? Can you believe that sh Her too, she's <laughs> mortified. There was a time when misbehavior on school buses was relatively mild. Those days are gone. Kids these days fucking suck. <laughs> Is this extreme behavior? Um, no. Moderate. You better believe it. Damn it. <laughs> Look at these students. They are completely ignoring the verbal commands of the bus driver. Look at these animals throwing a hat back and forth. I've never seen anything so egregious in all my days. Ignoring the verbal commands of the bus driver. As a result, the bus driver is distracted. I... Uh, okay, what's the phrase? Causation does not equal... What is it? Causation does not equal correlation? Is that what I'm looking for? What I'm trying to say is that, yeah, I understand that the kids are being rowdy, but it's still the bus driver's fault that they're not paying attention to the road, right? If you don't follow the bus rules, I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. I literally don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't pay the $225. I'm so lost right now. I'm gonna write you all up and you're gonna be off the bus. No. And the outcome, dangerous nearly fatal and completely preventable. Nearly fatal, they say. <laughs> Technically, yeah, it could have been, I guess. But you know, when the bus is traveling at a speed of around four miles an hour, and the kids are just, you know, doing their thing, you know, in the, in the middle of the street, I think they would maybe see the bus coming. But again, who am I? I, I didn't pay the 225, so I don't know. I don't know the full truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. Whenever your students refuse to obey the rules of the bus, you must immediately regain control of the bus. Calmly and carefully pull over to the side of the road and stop the bus. Deal assertively and directly with the students. Don't let any of these students think for a moment that this is just a lecture. Threaten them. Threaten them with real bodily harm. Don't let them think that these are just words. You will really act on this. You will squeeze their arms so hard your fingers touch. Issue them citations and tell all of them they are going to pay a high price for this kind of behavior. $225 to be exact. So that was good. I think we learned a lot from that. Uh, <laughs> to close it off, I just wanted to look at this, this absolute masterpiece. And it was made by a man that I could only hope, nay, I could only wish, nay, I could only dream of having as my bus driver. Good afternoon. Good Hi. afternoon. Hi. Hi. Jeez. Oh. Oh. What? I need 
you alone. God, you gotta be kidding me. Not today, all days. Not today. Not on the anniversary. Ah, jeez, it's hot. God, there's no shade. It's 190 degrees out here. Things sure would be run a lot differently around here if I was Pope of this dump. Yeah, man, if I was the Pope. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's right there. Oh, thank you. On school property? Every, you know what? No, no. He deserves it. He he's earned this. Let the man experience complete euphoria because gosh darn it, bus drivers do not get the love that they so dearly deserve. I'm not being sarcastic either. I really do think that bus drivers can be very underappreciated. I have had some god awful bus drivers in my day. And you know what? They can suck it. They don't deserve the cocktails, right? Okay, they don't deserve the lemonade. But I've also had some pretty incredible bus drivers who really, you know, set the tone for the entire day. You get on the bus in the morning, if your bus driver is a dick to you, you, you might be crabby for a while. But if you get on the bus and they're just a total ball of sunshine, bundle of joy, sweet little human, I mean, it could really set you off on the right foot. So I do think that bus drivers deserve a little bit more love, a little bit more appreciation. Anyway, is that the moral of the story? I don't know. There doesn't have to be a moral of the story, Scott. You don't always have to have some freaking theme. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you wanna pick up one of these Struggle Fest shirts that I've been so subtly plugging throughout the entire video or any of the other merch that I have, the link will be in the description. Thank you for liking and subscribing, following me on Instagram, Twitter, all that jazz. And an extra thank you to all of my patrons. Those that are in the top tier are actually listed right here. Golly, you guys, you guys deserve a back rub. All right, I will talk to you guys again very soon. Goodbye. Every day I was in heaven, back in the fall of 07, here in the bus engine revving, chilling back in seat 11, got my best buds all around me, one by one through the town, we hit the bus stop, kick the dust up, toss our bags on the ground, see what the others were doing if we could meet.